way. Can you imagine what's coming on my hand was like <laughs> coming and going, you know like <laughs> Okay, let's go back. One, two, three. My name is uh, Afanui Neba. I am from Cameroon and I am a self-taught artist. Um, I speak English and French and now I'm in Greece. Um, I started painting when I was very young. I can't really tell the age, but I remember being um, creative when I was very young, like um, sketching cartoons and um, animes behind my books. So um, I grew up with this spirit, like grew up being inspired and I was creating so many other things just by sketching. I was making like uh, sculptures out of my hands and materials I could find around me. When I was in the primary school, um, I will have this opportunity to do the sketches on the board for other students to to copy. Um, I was um, being good in drawing diagrams when I was in school. So um, when I started applying um, colors to my sketches, um, a lot of people and my friends will look at it and be like, wow, it's looking good and beautiful. So. Uh, Usually in the primary school, we used to have um, volunteers that are artists that will come to our school and talk about art. And they found me outstanding. So uh, they encouraged me and to give me the spirit to keep going and to like, believe in what I'm doing and try to create more and try to explore about art and become what I want to become. Uh, painting is like a, a means of communication with yourself and your emotions, you know, like the, the feelings of the colors on the painting, they communicate with you, they try to relate you with the environment and uh, yeah, so it's more deep to me and it's more emotional. I use it as means of communication as well, there are some paintings I will use to express my feelings, to express myself or to communicate with someone else or to see what is happening in the environment at the moment uh, as well to describe a specific environment and the activities going on in that environment uh, on the canvas. So painting to me means a lot and I don't just take it like a, a career or something but uh, I I try to connect it to myself and make it be like um, it's alive, you know, like a real something. And it's uh, my imaginations that uh, I try to put uh, on the canvas, which is like I have my own wall and this is how my world look like. If I'm a creator, this is what I will create. Yeah. My paintings represent uh, a lot of things and when you look at um, my paintings you have different styles. It goes with the inspiration and, and what you're inspired at the moment and, and as well um, where you're coming from and like information, like communication as well. So um, when you look at my painting, it, it's, you are seeing like different styles and different designs and different feelings and colors and, and these are informations like trying to communicate and trying to make some people know how my thoughts inside me looks like. I'll start by saying uh, 
my country Cameroon is uh, going through a lot of um, challenges right now and uh, this is because the country is um, a dictatorship going on and Cameroon is a uh, a two um, language speaking country. We are speaking French, we are speaking English and and the English section is a very small part of the country and uh, the French owns the majority. Um, so um, the English people feel marginalized. They feel they are looking like lower class of the country. So um, they went to the street and try to protest about that and uh, their response was um, gunshots and you know how Africa is. So um, this has affected uh, where I come from and I was part of it. So um, the only way I could live or escape from death or what is threatening my life was to flee away from the country. Um, and this um, was 2018, I left my country and, and it was a very difficult and long journey for me to find myself in Greece. Um, so I flew to Europe and I became uh, a refugee in, in Greece. Um, I found myself living in uh, areas I couldn't believe before and going through difficulties that would take away my life. Uh, yeah, uh, I survived it and yeah, I'm here today. Um, no, the reason is because um, I am alive and I dream, my dream is to be alive, you know, and have a good life and live like any human being else. So um, because I went through all the difficulties, it didn't stop me from dreaming because uh, I am alive, anything can happen and you, you don't know what's tomorrow brings so I, I'm just hopeful you know and then I keep putting some efforts and pushing you know like keep going um, actually when we talk of final destination I, I for one I don't have a final destination I just believe my final destination is the earth and I have to live anywhere I want and I feel I can manage to live anywhere just because I want to leave, you know. Um, what motivates me are um, the people around me, the, the environment I came from, and you know, like your day-to-day -day life, you, you will see people, you see things, you see new environments, these environments like and the people there, they inspire me a lot. That is why um, when you look at uh, some of my paintings, um, you find cars, you find people, you find activities going on, and this is so inspiring for me. So um, these are some motivations that when I sit to paint, I think about, and I think it's a motivation as well. And uh, along my way, I have been meeting a lot of people and some motivational speakers they, they try to keep my courage booming going and letting me not to give up my hopes so uh, yeah reading books as well uh, is part of it I've been reading um, books which are talking about artists in Europe and in foreign lands, you know, not from my country. So uh, I try to see how they all started their careers and the difficulties they go through and uh, yeah, um, what they are today and the paintings all over the world. I was um, in a refugee camp in the island of Kios and uh, there was a center that was um, an NGO um, that was offering um, language lessons for, for refugees. 
and uh, it's a country that you, you you're supposed to know the language so I went to this um, organization uh, like a student before and I was uh, trying to study the language and in this environment there are a lot of um, 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 languages being taught but uh, and a lot of activities going on in, in this same institution so um, I looked around and I didn't find uh, art which um, was something I was also expecting so um, an idea came to me that uh, you can propose to volunteer as an art teacher and uh, I said yes uh, let me meet the proprietor and I went to his office and I was like um, excuse me sir I I wanted to ask a favor if uh, I can be a teacher so um, he asked me my profession I was I was an artist like I told him and he gave me some opportunities like he bought materials and then he asked me to to he tested me to give a, a proof of what I'm saying about and I did a painting and he was um, amazed by this painting and he was like okay cool you're having a class so we're gonna schedule your days maybe Tuesday or Friday and um, I was like yes and then this is how I started painting by teaching um, um, refugees how to create art after some few months I got favored by meeting uh, a friend that uh, introduced me to um, another NGO that was helping refugees as well by letting them create arts and these arts are being sold and the, the money being re returned to them like 100% and um, I was connected to this organization and I became an art teacher for this organization so I was teaching um, kids how to paint I was teaching adults and all this just being volunteering not paid for it anyway anyway so but I knew that this is uh, what I love doing like teaching kids and adults and teaching people how to paint um, because uh, I feel for art you know so uh, this is how I started painting in Greece wow. <laughs> so you, you, you just wanted to volunteer and show what you know you're capable of and so this is where i'm going to step in and saying that um we need to stop looking down on refugees and to understand we need to start understanding that there are people just like you and i there are people that had a whole life in their countries and situations make them you know leave and actually there are people that are so talented among the refugee community which we need to open our eyes and look you know and if we can help one way or the other to do so like <laughs> even even the people were shocked you see like they were shocked that you know you're an artist like, oh my god he's an artist yeah so imagine how many people are out there that have you know crazy talents yeah so many talents I like, look at this look at this beautiful paintings like I too am shocked <laughs> I'm among those people so they're shocked and that's why I'm doing this interview today, you know, yeah. to show this beautiful talent and hoping that someone watches this and, you know, steps in as well in helping him in his own way. Yeah. Actually, I would say I have never had a, a workshop, like a, a gallery or something where I go do my art because uh, all the arts you see here, I create them in my bedroom which is not um, kind of professional or like you can't use your kitchen to sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. You can cook in your kitchen, but you can sleep there. So uh, I've been painting in my room for a very long time and I don't feel it's professional or it's comfortable for me because at times I want to sleep and something is like you have to paint. Sometimes I want to paint and something will be like you have to sleep. Mm -hmm. So it's like confusing You can really devote yourself and concentrate more on what you want What I really need at the moment is like a workshop that I could um, Like use like an 
an office, I leave my home, I go to my workshop and I create there in peace and have enough time to meditate and concentrate more. And I and with that my art is gonna go to another level because um I'll be more focused, you know, no distractions and stuff. Yes, um uh, actually there are a lot of things we will need, you know, like we in a strange line, we're facing difficulties, we find um, difficulties in connecting with people, in selling our paintings, and um, yeah, like um, events are going on, you don't know how to connect to these events because uh, it's a, a strange land and everything is uh, like a little bit far from you even though you're within them. So, um, creating events and meeting people and selling paintings, having a workshop, it's like my needs for now, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is understandable, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have anything, if you hear about anything, you know, hook him up <laughs> <laughs> on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ngwa underscore neba. Perfect. I really want to be a teacher, an art teacher, and I have been I have been volunteering teaching arts for three years, and now I feel like I want to make it a profession. You know, like being an art teacher, and because I was self-taught, I believe teaching yourself can be another experience teaching others to learn how to create by themselves, you know. So uh, I've been doing this for for three years and it's working and today uh, a lot of my students are artists on their own. They take it as a profession, they make money overseas and they could pay their rent and take care of their bills, you know, like so um, being an art teacher is uh, my um, my goals, my dreams, you know, like I really wish this happens to me and I have my own way of art and I maybe can teach people my style and how to come about creating art all by yourself, mixing the colors, the feelings, all those stuff and I think it's a good thing. Yeah, actually, I didn't went to an art university, but I I am a good artist. When I came to Greece, uh, I I tried to go into the art university. This is why you have this painting here. In order to get into the arts, fine art university of Athens, you have to be very good in a specific style of art, which is um, this um, black and white mm -hmm. and using charcoal or black ink and this is a type of art I have never known before like growing up in my country I don't know this type of art so um, I had to train myself and visit some um, art training institutes to give me advices and guide me on how we create this type of art so uh, Actually, my, my, my director, the teacher teaching me this style was telling me he's counting on me like one of the students is, uh, is that are gonna go into the university. Uh, but it was, it was so unfortunate that at that moment I didn't have a Greek passport and it was um, requested at um, the school. So I had to um, not have the opportunity to get into the university. So uh, yeah. But this is a very good style, I really love it, and it's a unique style I have. Um, I have some paintings I've been creating using this style, but my idea from Africa, from Cameroon, my environment, the people around me, like I told you, I get inspired all the time and I try to please uh, my fans and, and to make sure if, uh, if people can't have uh, a painting, they can have something else, you know, like, so I went further by thinking having ideas this summer, thinking about creating things that uh, could people could have as like my art with them this summer and I was thinking of a t-shirt like uh, you know t-shirts are good for summer so I created um, some t-shirts like um, creating a designs that could be um, a logo of me, my logo 
uh, with my name on it and so um, a lot of my fans already had one of this t-shirt and maybe I think you can have this one too yeah so uh, yeah I, I have so many designs uh, of my ads on paint on uh, um, t-shirts like as you can see I'm putting on one right now and so many people had this one so I, mean, I love this one as well <laughs> so, uh, yeah so uh, this is uh, another means of pleasing your fans you know like can you imagine having um, my painting on you walking around yeah you know like one of my friends got a painting a, a t-shirt and she's not putting it on she's like hanging it on her wall and she enjoys the painting on the t-shirt like on the wall and i'm so like uh, wow this you know people will wanna like admire your art in various ways and you know and i think it's connecting is connecting with the uh, other people who really love your art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a very brilliant, brilliant idea. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you would like to tell our viewers? Yes, um, actually, for me, I want to believe that uh, if you don't have my painting, maybe yours is not yet because um, my career growing up as an artist, uh, I realized that when I was in my home town, Bamenda, creating in my small room, I had a lot of paintings in my room. Like I created a lot of paintings, I created a lot of paintings like everywhere in my room was art. And I wasn't selling them and I didn't know how to sell these paintings or to let them get away from my room to give me some space, you know? So, uh, and I believe that these arts are not supposed to stay with me. They have to go away. But I had to realize that there is a specific painting is prepared for a special somebody. And uh, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter how long it takes, but a painting is for a particular person. You might come and buy this painting, but it's not for you. So maybe it's a gift for someone or maybe your child or your daughter or your husband will want to take it from you. So it was meant for a, a specific person. So in my home from Bamenda, uh, when people come to our home, like visitors came and visited us. And at the time going back, I will give them a painting as a gift. So uh, this is how most of my paintings back home was distributed because a lot of people came uh, coming to our home on their return, they go with a gift and this was my painting. So I believe that this painting was specific made for them. Another, another thing was um, there, the, I sent some of my paintings from Africa to the USA like 2008 and uh, these paintings were sold 2019 and 2020 which means that these paintings were like created for these specific people and it didn't matter how long it would take in this place but from 2008 2020 it's a very long time and somebody came like i love this painting and he bought it so i believe that this painting was specifically meant for this person so it's my um it's my kind of uh, thoughts and beliefs about um, art that uh, every single art is um, created for a specific person and full of love and emotions and every gift that you could give this person is in the art so uh yes this is a uh, one final thing i would love to say and also to encourage some artists not to get discouraged if some paintings are not getting out or something. It doesn't mean these paintings are not good. It was just meant for a person and this person is not yet. When this person is ready, the painting will go for a good home. Mm. Wow, yeah. that's, that's a very beautiful one. And is there any advice you would like to give last for us to close? Yeah, the advice I would love to give to anybody is never lose hope on your dreams never lose hope on your dreams we dream 
and we believe in these dreams. No matter what situation you're going through, no matter sleeping in the tent, going through difficult moments, not having to eat, never lose hope. Always hold tight to your dreams and believe in them. And believe me, one day you're gonna be like, wow. Yeah. Perfect. Perfecto. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for your time. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. I think, I think I'm gonna give two t-shirts to you guys. Yeah. And this one. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you share this video. I hope you like it, subscribe, and of course go and check his art out. Like look at this beautiful painting, guys. Like bruh, you're serious. Yeah, and t-shirts. Yeah. Like you can have some t-shirts yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.